Hi everybody, today I come to you from the echoey side cabin in our beautiful 400 sedan bridge, C-Ray. And uh, I have my compact Canon camera going as well as I have beside me my GoPro Hero 2 because I am going to be diving into the depths of this boat. Uh, we have, if you uh, recall from uh, last summer, summer 2013, this is the end of May 2014 where I'm capturing this. Uh, but like I say, last summer 2013, while we were on our summer holidays, um, we pulled out the fridge on the boat because there has been a, a mystery smell that started eh, beginning of July, I guess, last year. And we have cleaned and scrubbed and disinfected and bleached and tea tree oiled and cleaned and scrubbed and Javex bleached and tea tree oiled everything we cannot discover where this smell is coming from directly at least I was under the belief that it was uh, from a previous overflow in our uh, our sump where the uh, the two showers and the two vanity sinks uh, run into uh, because our uh, the pump that's in there, the bilge pump and float switch, the float switch had malfunctioned. I think we're on like uh, float switch number four in this thing so far since we got the boat five seasons ago. And I think uh, what I had thought had happened was in one of those instances that uh, sump had overflowed and there was standing water down in the bilge. And it's not really the bilge. I'll show you what I'm talking. It's, it's the V part of the forward section of the boat, so bilge for lack of a better term. Um, and uh, I thought that standing water had been in there and started to smell bad because in our previous boat, our 300 Sundancer, uh, that issue was present when we bought that boat because that boat had a shower sump. It had a shower stall. We never used it. It was one of those heads that was like toilet sink and shower. You just pulled this. Uh, the uh, faucet off of the sink, the vanity, and you would shower down, and there was some half-ass shower curtain, and it was crap, and it was too compact, so we never, never used it, but there had been usage prior, water had gone down that, um, uh, down that drain, and it went into a bilge, or a little sump area, uh, at the, uh, in the aft cabin of that boat, and when we bought the boat, there had been standing water in there for the longest time, because to activate that, uh, sump. You either activate it from a switch on the helm, which I think was labeled rear bilge, or there was a switch beside the toilet in that head. Nobody ever turned it on, so that water was sat there for God knows how long. And you know that really sick, sour, sour smell? Like, I opened up, <coughs> gag. So, of course, the first year we had the boat, I cleaned, I scrubbed, I disinfect, I Lysol sprayed. That almost bloody well killed me in the in the confines of the aft cabin of that boat. And uh, we got rid of the smell uh, mostly. Uh, the only problem is, of course, that smell kind of permeates into uh, organic material like wood and, and fabric and so on and so forth. So anyways... Um, it was tolerable. It wasn't so bad. It was only bad when I opened it up. Well, not bad, but I could still smell the, that residue smell. But for the most part, we got rid of it. Coming back now to this boat, and my long-winded story, is that despite all of our efforts, like I said, we cannot seem to alleviate that smell. And uh, the reason we pulled the fridge out last year to, to check for it is because when the fridge kicks on and the cooling fan for the motor in the fridge and the compressor and all that, uh, kicks on it vents out through the top of the fridge and every time that happens we could smell it So clearly that is drawing air from the bilge of the boat and up and through and boom and it's dumping into the cabin and the lovely anchor girl is Stressing out about it as am I because she's stressing me out in turn about this smell so What do I have beside me here? Yes, we all recognize this white poop pipe um, what I'm going to do is replace our, um, down here are the two pumps for the two toilets, the vacuum flush, the pump, uh, the two pumps, and two um, accumulator tanks for the vacuum. And Anchor Girl swears that the smell is coming off of those hoses in between. 
So since I have limited access from here up to the toilets and then back to the uh, engine room where the holding tank for the poop is, um, I'm going to replace the sections between the accumulator tanks and the pumps themselves uh, to start with and see whatever else I can to get uh, at. Sea Ray used that really expensive, I mean this stuff is expensive to start with, but they used even the better, uh, that black pipe. It looks like radiator hose, which you'll see in a minute once I get down there with this thing. And uh, that's supposed to be really impervious to smell. But like anything, stuff breaks down and I guess uh, the nature's effect of the poop smell in that hose is eventually going to come through. So like I said, I'm going to start with that. I'm going to try that and hopefully that will alleviate the smell. If not completely until I can get at the rest of the hoses, which I wouldn't now do till next spring, probably. Um, hopefully it, it, it helps us out. So I am bilge diving. You know, like dumpster diving? I'm going bilge diving. And I'm going to show you now how uh, tight it is for me to get down there and work there. So not really looking forward to this job but eh, it's a boat we're living on it it's got to be done right so uh here we go wish me luck okay i have moved to the gopro camera and as you can see from the side cabin looking down i'm kneeling down on the floor um the side bench which is a bed basically a berth I've got the uh, the cushion off it, just Velcro's in a place, so I've taken that away. I've got this held up with a couple of bungee cords, ingeniously I must say. All the stuff has been removed from in here, from storage we keep. There's a couple of filler cushions that go in between here. Actually these two berths, the way it's set up now is two separate berths with a little uh, eh, table, night table in between. There are actually aluminum rails that go across here, quite heavy and robust, nice square stuff. And then there are... Um, um, uh, there is a big piece of uh, an insert panel which sits in here and then the filler cushions go in and this makes a very comfortable king size bed so when the kids are with us on the boat our daughter and son-in-law this becomes their room as well as our little granddaughter and they are very comfy because they have easy access to the head uh, right beside it the day head so coming down into the bellows of the boat where my voice gets very echoey we are looking at the affected area, the bilge area, and as you can see, there are the two pumps for the two heads. Yonder is uh, the forward stateroom, the master stateroom uh, toilet pump for the vacuum flush, and then this is for the day head uh, on the uh, port side of the boat. And um, it's nice and neat and clean in here because, like I said, we've cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and disinfected, and oh man, oh man, there's even a bit of a gloss to this finish now because. I sprayed uh, tea tree oil, um, which is supposed to be really good at uh, alleviating smells. It works good, but it's only uh, short term because if these pipes are stinking, or sorry, the hoses, then then that smell is just going to keep returning and returning. And since it's coming from the inside out, uh, everything you spray in here is going to become ineffective after a while. So what I can do is what I have. You know, relatively easy access to, except I'm grunting and groaning because I'm kind of leaning with my chest on this bench um, for the one berth. Um, is I can do this hose, which runs from the uh, vacuum pump uh, accumulator uh, tank to the pump. So that's one, and then the discharge from the outside to where it goes to a Y and then the, of course that hose runs right back and through the engine compartment and into the holding tank, our brand new holding tank I might add. And then on the other side is the third hose which again goes from that Y into the um, the uh, forward toilet. Excuse me, it's bouncing this around but it's kind of difficult to get at. And then fourth hose is this one of course right here, a short little guy that goes between this accumulator tank and that pump. So I have all my tools ready to go. I just got to grab a little bit of cleaning supplies because I have been down here. I have opened this up and I know what is potentially inside there. If you recall, and I'm going to put a link right here to a video that I produced last year after our uh, guests were on board and somebody flushed those baby wipes down here. 
won't even mention that uh, fact that it was my daughter that did that because she didn't know any better because I didn't inform her. Uh, so that was stuck and of course there's two duckbill valves that are gro go right in here and with that white being stuck in between and not allowing the duckbills to close the pump just kept running and running and running and it produced no vacuum at all because it was just <coughs> through there so I had to take this off to get at that duckbill valve and um, of course uh, whatever was going to be flushed down the toilet with that at that time was kind of stuck in here so like I say I know it's there so I, I flushed the both toilets a, a couple times with fresh water so it shouldn't be too too bad uh, but that said I ain't gonna be dealing with poo-poo pipes so I'm going to make sure I got lots of cleaners and rags and a bucket and everything else at hand and ready to go uh, yeah just one more shitty job I gotta do on the boat but what the hell this is what we live for so I got my tools out I got my uh, new hose ready to be cut and fit and I got all my cleaning supplies and rags and everything else and I am leaning on my chest that's why my voice sounds funny and it's difficult to breathe anyways it's a tough job but somebody's got to do it so I am at it right now to make my lovely anchor girl a happy camper so uh, here we go stand by for the mi mischief and mayhem Whew. wow that was a uh, quite an effort after four hours Four hours of uh, grunting and groaning and laying on my chest and reaching to my maximum extent and extensions. I've got three of the four hoses replaced. Uh, the reason I gave up on the fourth one was simply because it was so short, it's only about a foot long. And to remove those off of the fittings that go into and out of the pumps, uh, you have to, the only way to get them off is to unscrew the fitting that goes into the pump and then every time you unscrew it one way you have to you know return release the, the tension off the hose and you know spin it the opposite way otherwise you'll the hoses are so stiff and so short there's no bend in them uh, shy of cutting them and kinking them but anyways my hands are raw from gripping those um, those hoses and note to self next time wear some gloves that have kind of rubbery grips on them uh, save the hand save the skin anyways um on the positive side anchor girl um reported that oh it smells nice and clean in here to me all i smell is bleach because of course the uh, little bit of pee, pee water that spilt down there which wasn't collected immediately by the rags um i cleaned with Windex first and then with a bleach based cleaner bathroom cleaner and so that's all you can smell in here now is bleach I have a very sensitive uh, smell to chemicals and bleach just sits in my nose anyway so it's done I'm very happy about that uh, anchor girl seems to be pleased so far of course only time is going to tell as to how effective it was uh, hopefully it was only those three sections of pipe that were or sorry hose that were or were the worst of it uh, at any rate they've been replaced brand new and so you know I did my best on that um, I also had a little bit of energy left over and I cleaned up down in the bilge and hosed it all down washed it fired up the generator for the first time this year uh, today as well so man oh man I even did a uh, a beautiful video edit I was up uh, out of bed at 5 20 a.m. this morning I was on the dock at 5 30 uh, capturing a beautiful sunset so as we speak speak I'm uploading that video uh, to YouTube right now so it's been a busy long day but uh, the first corona is in the glass and anchor girl has started the barbecue and we are going to be uh, eating soon and I'm of course gonna jump in the shower cuz I really need one after that project so all in all, a very productive day, and uh, everybody seems to be happy with the results thus far. Uh, uh, any changes, I'll let you know. Um, please let me know uh, what you think about the project and if you've uh, had to involve yourself with one as well. Quick note about my uh, GoPro uh, footage that I was capturing. For whatever reason, that thing periodically shuts off mid-film. It's a GoPro Hero 2. 
I have the Hero 1, I guess it was called, and then bought the Hero 2 uh, three years ago now. And as you've seen uh, in many of my videos, I've got a lot of miles on that thing, and it's always worked great. It just started acting up recently uh, when I was doing actually the holding tank replacement. So, like I say, it, it films and then just it shuts off. It doesn't stop filming. <laughs> it stops filming and the whole camera shuts right off. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it needs a little adjustment or a new one. Oh, wait, no, I just bought a new camera. Anchor girl will kill me if I buy another one. Anyways, um, yeah, like I say, as always, let me know what you think, uh, your comments, questions, whatnot, and let me know if you've had to do what I did today yourself or if you have to do it in the future. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.